I'm going to actually drop an orbital strike over here. I'm going to hit both of them. Whoosh! Yikes, this guy took on a lot of damage. There we go. Okay, so I guess this is going to be my first baby account video for 2023. And I just wanted to kind of update you guys as far as uh, this account goes. You know, changes to my hangar, uh, what I'm building, what I'm upgrading, my Titan. Um, I'm sure many of you are kind of wondering how I'm going to handle uh, the drone rework, which is going to be coming in, I think, update 8.8. .8. Um, so we're going to be talking a bit about that. Um, there's also going to be some gameplay as well uh, with this account. So as far as this account goes, uh, for those of you who are actually uh, kind of new to my channel, this account is 100% free. Uh, pretty much whatever you see here, I was able to either build, I won from the special delivery crates, and, uh, you know, of course, I upgraded so uh, before I actually get started, you can see that we have 7,900 gold saved up, uh, 3.8 million silver, 91 platinum. Uh, speaking of which, I think we do have a Titan upgrade event here. So my author is level 30. Uh, the Vengeance Retaliators are maxed out. Uh, modules are all maxed out. And um, you know what I'm going to actually do here? I'm going to upgrade the Onslaught. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this now. And the reason why I'm actually doing this is because I'm not sure which Titan I'm going to actually transition to because I'm not going to stick with the uh, the author. And while I'm kind of making my decision on that, I'm actually upgrading uh, the modules to uh, at least uh, have something to upgrade. Uh, so that's my plan, at least for now. Um, some of you may notice that I don't have the Phantom anymore because I'm going to try out this Kepri. We now have it at level 6. Uh, my weapons are level 7, 8. I'm going to try to move all of these uh, scatter weapons to level 9 eventually. Uh, so you can see my uh, thermonuclear reactor on here. Misaki and Ponchi, which I do want to level up um, as well. Which I'm going to actually do, uh, you know, with playing. And I know many players say, well, you know, this account's really low level. You've had it for so long. Uh, one thing you kind of have to factor in is I don't really play this account uh, that much. I haven't played this account in probably about a month, maybe longer. Okay, so it's actually been a while. Um, we have a really low win percentage right now because I was squatting with, um, you know, one of the paid members who happened to be in Champion League. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm in X. Oh, okay. So we're in Expert League 1 now because I haven't been playing. Um, so I have dropped. I was actually in Champion League at one point as well. So you can see my hangar here. Yeah, so the league system is based mostly on activity. And I think a lot of players kind of misunderstand that part. Uh, basically, if you play often, you can actually level up, uh, you know, or at least climb the leagues a lot easier. Now, if I'm not playing, obviously, I'm going to drop down. OK, so uh, something to factor in um, in terms of operations. Um, I don't think I have anything here. I'm just kind of showing you what I ended up with uh, for the supply center or the supply line. I'm going to be saving up my uh, black market keys, which uh, also I'm going to show uh, right now what happened when I opened up my game after I don't know how many weeks. I actually had a couple of, uh, you know, keys saved up and I forgot to open it or at least do a video on it. And I'm going to show you what, uh, you know, prizes I ended up with. Okay, so those are the prizes I ended up with the uh, black market. And, you know, what I plan on doing here as far as the workshop. So I'm going to see how my hangar actually performs, uh, you know, with the current lineup. Um, typically, you know, I tend to focus on weapons and I, you know, do the one day instead of the three days. Um, but I think what I might end up doing is building, you know, a weapon here. But I'm going to run a couple of games first and see how my hangar performs. And then I'm going to focus on a weapon and just keep on building, uh, you know, items here. Actually, do I have something over here? Uh, we do have, I think, a weapon or something, right? Yeah, so we have a skull, which I was building towards. So we're going to pick this up. Let's go ahead and let's do that. And I'm going to show you what I have in terms of the special delivery crates. Uh, you know, these are the coins I have so far. I'm not going to open this up. I'm going to actually save it. We have 21 days left, so I'm going to keep on... Uh, you know, trying to open up or at least watch ads in order to get uh, the coins here. Okay, so another thing which I wanted to kind of talk about because um, a lot of players have been asking me as of late, you know, which drone should they buy? 
uh, which drone chips uh, should they buy for their drones and i think at this point you want to really wait because uh, in update i believe it's 8.8 .8, uh, you know the drones are going to be reworked they're going to change it entirely and i think it's going to affect the game in a really big way now initially i was going to buy a beak drone uh, which i think cost 6000 gold and i do have enough but at this point i want to see how the game changes before i make uh, any kind of purchase okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save my gold up uh, wait for that drone rework and then see how uh, things change and then uh, you know spend my resources according to uh, those changes so that's pretty much what my plan is uh, for this account and uh, yeah with that said i guess let's jump into a game here and uh, let's see how we do with this lineup using the capri instead of the phantom okay so we've just dropped in on springfield map and i have started with the capri first i'm gonna oh man i was going to link to this guy in front of me but he ended up uh, going into stealth there yeah we need to uh we need to make our way over to the uh, center beacon here as quickly as possible unfortunately i couldn't link to this um this Arachi in front of me. Okay, I'm going to link now. He needs to stay on this beacon. This guy's getting off the beacon. Okay, there we go. Nice. We can kill this uh, this Capri here. You know what I might do is... Um, I'm going to drop in with a tank. Uh, over here. I hope that guy is still on that beacon. We're going to use the uh, Ravana. Oh no, guys, get on the beacon quickly. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it, I think, right? Did it change? It changed. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna hit that guy with the orbital strike. Oh, yikes. We got that guy really good, actually. We need to knock that shield down and take out this Mars. There we go. I'm gonna move this way. I'm trying to protect the center beacon here by myself kind of hard to do when you got level six bots but i'm doing it or at least for the most part um we might lose our home beacon i don't want to overreact and drop here because there's two blues over there we do need more help over here on this beacon so i'm gonna drop in with another tank just to make sure that we hold this down maybe i can hit this uh, typhon over here there we go so you see what I'm doing is I'm trying to protect the center beacon. This is very important. And I just hope that my teammates drop in here to help me out. Um, it is not a good idea for me to drop uh, my Arthur here. Even if I did have it uh, ready. Uh, because we have a Luchador. And yeah, that's not going to it's not gonna end well. I might drop in actually with uh, the Demeter. Again, this is just to hold this beacon down, guys. You got to remember, you got to protect those beacons. So, I'm trying to do this all by myself here, which... I'm going to hit this guy with the orbital strike. Whoosh! Did I get him? I think I got him. Unfortunately, I can't drop in anymore. And it looks like we actually gave up our home beacon um, as well. So, um, I didn't drop in there because we had two blues. And I figured, you know, they should be able to hold it down. Unfortunately, uh, that did not happen. Are they going to drop in over here again? Oh, he is. Um, I'm going to try to help to get this beacon uh, back or at least secure it. Man, that's a pity. If my team had dropped in at center, we could have actually secured a key beacon. And it looks like our team is going to lose the farm too. Yeesh. Okay. Well, you know what? I tried my best. Sometimes, um, you know, you have teammates where they kind of... I don't want to say clueless. I think more inexperience is probably the, the better word to use. They kind of panic and then they kind of drop all over the place. Which I can kind of understand. You know, I went through that, that stage too. But you would figure, you know, once you get to about Master League, you should have a pretty good grasp on uh, where to drop in at. Okay, so I'm going to move a little bit uh, closer here to this right beacon. We need to get that beacon back. And I think... Um, we have a Skyros making his way into center. He should have actually used his Skyros perhaps to hold that beacon down when I was there. I'm going to try to shred up that uh, Luchador there. Let's just do this. I need to move a little bit quicker here. This guy's looking at me. He's getting totally smoked. 
Let's just hit that guy with the orbital strike. That might work a little bit. Can I get that kill? Whew. Yeah, I don't think this is going to end well. My main thing at this, uh, or at least uh, what I try to do at this point, is to try to come first on my team. And we'll take a look at the hangers afterwards, because quite often players tell me the reason why they don't hold down beacons is because, you know, they aren't maxed out. Um, I actually firmly don't believe that is the reason why. I think it's more they don't want to lose their bot so they don't sacrifice it. But we'll take a look to see if my hanger is really stronger than my teammates. Okay, so we ended up actually coming first on our team in this game. Uh, let's take a look at this player over here. So this player is actually in Master 3. So technically, he is actually higher level than I am. And uh, as you can see, he is running some MK2 and MK3 bots. He has a maxed out Nodens, guys. Uh, so let's see, how did this guy do? So I did almost equivalent to him in terms of damage. Uh, we got two beacons. What about this player over here? So this one is in Expert League. As you can see, he has MK3 uh, bots with a max star titan and uh, how did this guy do so this one ended up doing 2.8 but unfortunately like you, you know i said you know sometimes you have the equipment but um the experience is not there okay so we have this guy here he has a lower level uh hanger so i'm just showing you um you know what my teammates are running a lot of them are running a lot higher level stuff this guy actually has a max start ming as well uh let's take a look at my opponents okay so this guy has mk2 so you know hopefully you were able to kind of see you know my thought process uh, in this game uh, sometimes it's not about equipment level like uh, many things. Sometimes it's more experience and knowing where you need to be. So I obviously do not have anything MK2 or MK3 for that matter. And uh, just to kind of show you guys here. So you can see I don't have any MK2. My art is only level uh, 30 uh, as you saw. So I think because this game was kind of short. We're going to jump into another game here. And hopefully we can get a win uh, with this account. So let's go ahead let's move in this is my sacrificial uh i guess beacon runner oh jeez. is that typhon here i need help i think he yeah i think he left the beacon uh let me oh shoot <laughs> i was gonna drop in with my fenrir but uh because my teammates weren't on that beacon i couldn't drop in um I'm going to see if I can perhaps uh, move in here to uh, help get this beacon over here. Trying to move this way. We have a Loki that's trolling here too. Okay, I'm going to try to get this beacon here. There we go. I think there was a player up top. We're going to hit this guy with the orbital strike. Actually, wait. He's not... Oh, shoot. He was flying. It looks like they got a home beacon as well. Oh, my gosh. That guy got totally smoked. I think that was actually a pursuer or something. Let's try to get this Mars. Oh, come on. I need to heal. Heal! Trying to fall back here. That guy's hitting me with the uh, the bendy bullets. Oh man, that Loki got me. Okay, I'm going to drop in here with the Ravana. And the reason why I'm using the Ravana is because if this Loki decides to do that kind of attack on me, um, my whiteout is going to disable him from using his ability. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do that again. This is why I like the Ravana, by the way. Very effective. That guy's dead. Okay, perfect. We're going to get this beacon back. We have to deal with that Loki, though. That Loki is going to get that side beacon. Let me just use the heal. I should be able to kill him here, I think, right? That's going to do it, surely. 
I can hit him as long as um as long as you are the same elevation as the Loki, or at least your weapons are, you should be able to hit them. Okay, so there's a couple of players over here. I'm gonna hit them with the orbital strike. Whoosh. Let's see the health. That's some nice damage. Let's go for this beacon over here. Make sure you push those beacons. I'm kind of tempted to drop in over here with the Arthur to uh, shred up that Ming. But uh, we have a 4 cap on them, so we're in really good shape right now. This game is like the opposite of <laughs> the last game I played. Red team is in a lot of trouble. There is a Ming... Uh, over here that I really do want to actually get rid of. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to... Uh, gonna bum rush them. Try to get as much damage in here. Because I don't think this game is gonna last for very long. Okay, let's just do that. Use my ability again. And I'm gonna drop in over here with my Arthur. Okay, so I dropped in with my Arthur only because I'm trying to get um, my honor points. I might be able to actually get that uh, that Merimitz back there. He is within range. Oh man, I got hit by the gravity amp. Well, I'm actually doing. I'm actually taking a lot of damage. You guys see that? Oh, they have a Loki. Wait, what? How did he teleport? Oh, that was... No, that was a Demeter. I saw this. Oh, shoot. Oh, this guy's doing a lot of damage to me. I'm trying to get close enough here to do... I'm gonna do the death fart. Come on. No! Oh, it'll strike over there. Whoosh! Oh, I got both of them, but I wasn't able to kill them. Okay, we're going to drop in here with the Fenrir. Man, this game's actually turning around. Maybe I should have... Uh, should have played a little bit more conservatively. Although I think... I think we're going to end up winning. Because if you look at their beacon bar... If we end up giving up, like, that much of a lead... Then I'm not sure, man. Let's get rid of this Demeter here first. Trying to get inside his bubble. My teammate's gonna get that right beacon, so that's why I didn't go there. We need to get this guy down to his last stand. There we go. Okay, so we have that beacon. Uh, this Skyros, uh, he should... I think he's gonna go for the left side, right? He can go for the left beacon. I'm gonna take out this uh, this Kepri first. Go for the beacon as well while I'm doing this. Let's just use the heal. I'm gonna actually drop an orbital strike over here. I'm gonna hit both of them. Yikes, this guy took on a lot of damage. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's see how we uh, how we actually did here. So we actually won this game. Uh, this game was kind of short. It was like the opposite of the other one. So it looks like I got a league promotion. Now we're back into Master League. Yeah, it's all a matter of really playing often. If you want to climb the league system, uh, that's the best way. So we ended up actually doing 2.1 million damage in this game. And uh, let's take a look at this guy's hangar. So you can see they have MK2, MK3 bots. Maxed out uh, Miramets. And uh, how did I do? So just about a million off. This one did a little bit more. And he is running MK3, uh, MK2 and a maxed out Ming. So I think I did pretty well. 
But uh, anyways, guys, this is the update for my baby account. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.